What is happening in Sudan, where the protesters against the military coup have launched a two-day civil disobedience movement in the capital city of Khartoum. Sudan's security forces resorted to using tear gas to disperse multiple anti-coup protests. Forces rounded up nearly about 100 protesters in the latest crackdown on civilians that included teachers and other workers in the education system. The Sudanese military has seized power on the 25th of October and since then a nationwide anti-coup protest has been held virtually every day. They have been shut down by security forces as well. At least about 14 protesters have been killed so far and about 300 others have been wounded. Protesters have also barricaded streets. They have set car towers ablaze and have called for the return of the civilian government. The call for two-day civil disobedience movement has been made by the Sudanese Professionals Association. It is an umbrella of unions which was also instrumental in the protest that ousted the former president Omar al-Bashir in 2019. The group's appeal for civil disobedience were circulated via text messages to bypass internet outages in place since the takeover. And on Sunday, an Arab League delegation met with Sudan's Prime Minister Hamdok currently who is under house arrest and also the top military general Burhan and they stressed on the importance of dialogue in order to return to a civilian military partnership and also discussed ways to resolve disagreements within the establishment. The military's takeover has also sparked international condemnation including cuts of economic aid. The takeover has halted the country's very fragile but planned transition to democratic rule. Its civilian leaders are either detained or presently under house arrest. But still, the top Sudanese general, Burhan, has continued to insist that this is not a coup, but actually a rectification of the course of transition towards civilian rule. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.